Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, there was a land of rolling hills, dense forests, and crystal clear lakes, ruled by a just and noble king. He had a beloved queen, and together they longed for a child. After many years, their wish was granted, and a daughter was born. Her skin was as white as snow, her lips as red as blood, and her hair as black as ebony. She was named Snow White, and she was the joy of her parents' lives. Tragedy struck when the queen fell gravely ill and passed away when Snow White was still a child. The king, though heartbroken, remarried a beautiful but vain woman who was secretly a powerful sorceress. This new queen possessed a magical mirror that she consulted daily. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? She would ask, and the mirror would always reply, You, my queen, are the fairest of them all. Years passed, and Snow White grew into a beautiful young woman, kind-hearted and beloved by all who knew her. Her beauty became so great that one day, when the queen asked her mirror the usual question, the mirror replied, You, my queen, are fair. It is true. But Snow White is fairer than you. Enraged by this revelation and consumed with jealousy, the queen devised a wicked plan. She summoned the royal huntsman and ordered him to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. Bring me her heart as proof, she commanded, her eyes burning with malice. The huntsman, though loyal to the queen, could not bring himself to harm the innocent princess. As they ventured deep into the forest, he revealed the queen's orders to Snow White, urging her to flee and never return. With tears of gratitude, Snow White promised to run far away and disappear forever. The huntsman, to deceive the queen, killed a wild boar and brought its heart back to the castle. Snow White, now alone and frightened, wandered deeper into the forest. As night fell, she stumbled upon a small, charming cottage. Exhausted and hungry, she knocked on the door. When no one answered, she pushed it open and stepped inside. The cottage was empty but meticulously tidy, with seven tiny beds neatly lined up against the wall. Each bed had a name carved into its headboard. Doc, grumpy, happy, sleepy, bashful, sneezy, and dopey. Snow White, overcome with fatigue, lay across the beds and fell into a deep sleep. Later that night, the owners of the cottage returned. They were seven dwarfs who worked in the nearby diamond mines. As they entered their home, they were surprised to find Snow White sleeping. Who is this beautiful maiden? asked Doc, the leader of the dwarfs. She looks so peaceful, said Happy, his eyes twinkling. Grumpy, crossing his arms, muttered, What's she doing in our house? Snow White woke up and, seeing the seven dwarfs, explained her plight. The dwarfs, moved by her story and her gentle demeanor, offered her refuge. Snow White, in turn, promised to keep their house clean and cook their meals. Snow White's days were filled with joy and hard work. She sang as she cleaned, her melodious voice filling the cottage with happiness. The dwarfs grew fond of her, and she brought a new warmth to their home. However, the queen, still believing Snow White was dead, continued to ask her mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? When the queen arrived at the cottage, Snow White was alone, busy with her daily chores. The queen offered her a beautifully comb, claiming it had magical properties. Snow White, not recognizing the queen, allowed her to place the comb in her hair. As soon as it touched her scalp, Snow White fell to the ground, unconscious. The queen left, certain she had succeeded. That evening, the dwarfs returned and found Snow White lying lifeless. They noticed the comb and carefully removed it, breaking the spell. Snow White awoke and told them what had happened. The dwarfs, worried for her safety, warned her not to speak to strangers and to be wary of any gifts. Days passed and the queen, 
once again consulting her mirror, discovered Snow White was still alive. Enraged, she concocted another plan. Disguised as a different old woman, she returned to the forest with a poisoned apple. This time, she was more cunning. When the queen arrived at the cottage, Snow White hesitated to let her in. The old woman, the queen in disguise, offered the apple, claiming it was a gift for the kind girl who had helped her so much. Snow White, unable to resist her kind nature, took the apple. The moment she bit into it, she fell into a deep, death-like sleep. Word of Snow White's beauty and tragic fate spread throughout the kingdoms. One day, a prince from a distant land, who had heard tales of her loveliness, came to see her. He was captivated by her serene beauty and felt an inexplicable connection to her. Overcome with sorrow and longing, he leaned down and kissed her. The prince asked Snow White to return to his kingdom and become his queen. She agreed, but she had one final task to complete. Accompanied by the prince and the dwarfs, she returned to the castle to confront the queen. The queen, upon seeing Snow White alive, was filled with terror and fled. She was never seen again, and the kingdom was freed from her evil reign. Snow White and the prince were married in a grand celebration, with the dwarfs as honored guests. The kingdom flourished under their kind and wise rule. Snow White never forgot the dwarfs who had given her refuge and saved her life. She visited them often, and their friendship endured through the years. As the seasons turned and years went by, Snow White and the prince had children of their own, who were taught the values of kindness, courage, and loyalty. The story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs became a cherished legend, passed down through generations as a testament to the power of love and goodness. In the end, it was not just Snow White's beauty that triumphed, but her pure heart and the strength of the bonds she formed. The dwarfs, the prince, and Snow White herself all played a part in this timeless tale of friendship, bravery, and true love. And so, they all lived happily ever after, their lives intertwined by the magic of a shared destiny, and their story became a beacon of hope for all who heard it.